Hi. Hi. It's good. To, oh, that's okay. It's good to see you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You're good. Okay. How are your ankles feeling? Ankles are a bit better. Achilles is uh, is new and is uh, is there, but I'm trying to like dose my training and. Um, I didn't do everything at podium because I want to keep it for Sunday, but I just got the feeling and I know how, how the arena works, how the light works, how the apparatus feels. So that was the most important thing for now. So you switched to the men's gym and Bart's coach is your coach now. How is that going and why did you make that decision? Um, that's going well. I made that decision because at first, um, I had a timeout after uh, Tokyo Olympics, and then uh, Patrick, of course, moved away. So I was like, "Where, I'm where am I going to train?" And then there was a, a training place nearby my home, and it was a men's gym. But I thought, oh, maybe just try it. Had a good connection with uh, with Bart's coach, and then after that, Bart's coach became our uh, national coach. So I had a different coach that was under him, but also had a good connection with him and. Yeah, it was a refreshing uh, inside of how they work, how the handstands work, how, yeah, I don't know. It was very refreshing and it's a nice approach to everything. And it, yeah, after a few years gymnastics, you think you know everything, but you don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm so glad you're having a good experience there. Um, and also, like, I think it would be, like, funny to work out there. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's amazing with the boys. I mean... I said it before in a in a in a Dutch newspaper that it's like you can fart whenever you want, and I still stick by it because some boys are just like they walk in and they're like, and then you're like, okay, you do you, you know. But it's it's a nice environment, you know. You can discuss everything, and the boys just keep it light because sometimes I tend to get stressed, and then they're like, just calm down, we'll be fine, you're good, and that's just nice. It's a nice approach. So three quick rapid fire questions. So number one, who's your favorite gymnast to watch here? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think Melanie is uh, my favorite right now. I I love how she, like, in these couple of years, which steps she's made. It's she's so beautiful right now. She already was, but now she's just amazing. The best thing about being a gymnast? Hmm, flipping and dancing and yeah. I guess that's it actually. It's it's hard to get like one single question because there's so many things that I like about it. Um, and what is your most embarrassing or funniest gymnastic story? Wow. That's a hard one. Well, one time I shipped my pants. Yeah. I thought I was never going to tell anybody that, but it's kind of a funny story when you think about it. It's not nice, but it happened, so that's embarrassing. Were you sick, or did you like fall so hard? Just well, I was, I was kind of sick, and stress and sickness was not a good combo, but after that I still did a great routine, but I just had to switch everything up. But yeah, it happens. Shit happens. <laughs> you're not the first athlete to have that happen, so you're in a great like Hall of Fame of... Well, that's great because at first I was like, "Whoa, I think nobody has this." But now I'm I'm hearing, like, around me that people have had this. So, yeah, I feel connected. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay, so on three, can you do your favorite pose or dance move into the camera? Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm ready. And if you want to join in, <gasps> yes. I mean, one, two, what, um, three. I want to know what special skill. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. I wish it's a